Hello everybody and welcome to Top Linux Tech. In today's video, I'll show you how you can install the full GNOME desktop experience on Ubuntu 2004. Now, as you may or may not know, Ubuntu already comes with the GNOME 3 desktop environment pre-installed, however, it is heavily customized to reflect the Ubuntu style. Now, this style reminds on the old Unity desktop that used to exist in previous Ubuntu versions, and therefore some people like it and others don't. Now, I am one of those that don't like this style, and when I'm running Ubuntu, I always prefer to have the full vanilla GNOME desktop experience. If you are one of those, let me show you how you can change this entire desktop experience and revert to the original GNOME 3 vanilla desktop style. So, first things first, let's start the terminal and quickly just examine the block devices. The reason why I'm doing this is because there are already pre-configured snap packages that are mounted as loop devices, which are components of the GNOME 3 desktop, and we will have to remove them. Specifically, as you can see here, there is the GNOME 3-34 listed as one of the loop devices, so we'll have to remove this before proceeding. Now, if you are somebody who uses snaps, you can simply remove this package by using the snap remove command and then provide the package name that you want to remove, in this case gnome 3 34 1804. However, if you are not using snaps and if you do not want to use snaps, then I suggest that you completely remove them from your system. In my case, I don't use snaps at all, so I'm going to completely remove the entire snap package. But first, before I do that, I'm going to unmount all of the snaps that are currently mounted as loop devices. So sudo umount slash dev slash loop zero. And I'll do the same for one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now that we have cleared all of the snap mounts, we can proceed to remove the snapd package. So sudo apt purge snapd and press enter. Once the snap package is removed, now we can finally install the gnome session package. The gnome session package will allow us to log in into the full GNOME desktop experience from the Display Manager. So, let's install it now. sudo apt install gnome-session. Once this is done, simply reboot your computer. Now here from the Display Manager, if you click down here in the lower right corner of the screen on the cog icon, you'll see that we have GNOME and Ubuntu as possible session types. Now we are not going to change the session yet because we still have a few more packages to install, so we'll log into the desktop and run the terminal again. Let's quickly check if our block devices are as they should be. Okay, so everything seems fine here. And now finally, let's install the remaining two packages. So we run sudo apt install vanilla-gnome-desktop and vanilla-gnome-default settings and press enter. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause this video and resume once the installation is done. And there we go. Once the installation has finished, we can finally clear the old package cache by running sudo apt clean, and we can also run sudo apt auto remove in order to remove some old and unnecessary packages or dependencies that are currently installed into our system. Finally, we reboot our computer one more time. 
So type in reboot and press enter. And right now, as our login session, we can simply choose GNOME on XORG or just GNOME. Now, for those of you that are using NVIDIA cards, go ahead and click GNOME on XORG. And for those of you that have Intel or AMD cards, you can use XORG or you can try the new Wayland session that should be available by choosing the GNOME alone option right here. Now, in my case, I'm on a virtual machine and it actually doesn't matter which session I'm going to run, but I'll simply stick with X11 for this demonstration. So I'll choose GNOME on XORG. Type in your password, press enter. And there we go. We have the full GNOME vanilla desktop right now installed on our Ubuntu 2004. Let's customize a few things, like for example, let's change the background. Let's run the GNOME Twix tool and change a few more settings. Like for example, let's go with the Ubuntu pre-installed themes, Yar Dark. Also, let's change the icons and maybe the sound theme. And down here, in extensions, we'll also have to enable the user themes option. Let's restart the tweak tool again. Now from here, you can also enable a few more extensions to customize the desktop according to your needs. Maybe you'd like to add the desktop icons, for example or some other extensions. I would usually enable the places status indicator here, the removable drive menu, Ubuntu app indicators, which will show a small icon of every running application up here in the, in the top panel. Let's also enable workspace indicator. Let's also enable the weekday to be shown here at the top panel and at the window title bars, I'm also going to enable the maximize and minimize buttons for the windows. I think this desktop wallpaper is way too bright, so I'm going to go with the purple one. There we go. And finally, let's start Firefox and go to the GNOME Shell Extensions website to add a few more useful extensions. So here let's type GNOME Shell Extensions. Let's go to the website extensions.gnome.org. Let's click here to install the browser extension which will enable us to install all of these other extensions and extend the functionality of the GNOME shell. Once that is complete, simply press F5 on your keyboard to refresh the page. And let's add maybe open weather. Let's also add the clipboard extension. This will show a clipboard indicator on the top panel. And it will simply cache the clipboard history. So it's quite convenient to have this one. Next, we can also install dash to dock, for example. That will allow us to change the position of the default dock from the left side down here to the bottom. And let's also add sound input and output device chooser. Now, for those of you that have uh, multiple audio cards, like for example, the primary card and the one from your video adapter, 
this extension is quite useful and makes it possible to quickly switch between different audio devices. So let's install this one as well. And I think we're done. So let's go to the GNOME Twix tool again. And from here, we can customize all of the installed extensions by clicking on the cog icon for additional settings. So let's move the dash to duck now to the bottom of the screen. So position on the screen, click bottom. There we go. Maybe I'll also shrink the dash a little bit. And there we go. We now have the full original vanilla GNOME desktop experience. Yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. This is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to comment, like, share or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.